everybody, it's Robert here again, back with another video. This time, I would like to kind of mention the top five places I would like to visit in, in the future. Probably in the near future. And I also have some honorable mentions to do. So, let's get this list started. No more fun! New Zealand! New Zealand. In this a country in the South Pacific, south of, of the equator. And I heard on the news, well, on Bing News, that New Zealand is in its own continent now. So there's like an eighth continent, which is called Zealandia. Which includes, I think, New Cal Caledonia. Now, comment below if I'm kind of mistaken. But, that was kind of the eighth continent. So, New Zealand. They have some really beautiful landscapes. And if you've watched the TV show, um, Well, actually, I forgot what the name of the TV show is, but the 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 host is uh, Annabelle Langbein, and she lives in New Zealand, and she has showed, did some video of the landscape of New Zealand while she was cooking, doing a cooking show. So it's on uh, WSRE Create channel, which. For Cox customers, it's like nine, uh, 694 So, and there's also Mount Cook, and there's a, a North Island, and a South Island, which, as you can expect, it's cooler in the summer than it is in the Northern Hemisphere, for some reason. Probably because of more water. But it's approximately... 35 degrees north of, no, 35 degrees south of the equator, and it goes south until like 45 or more. You can probably just Google New Zealand, and there's, of course, Auckland, where the airport is, and then uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. Four, Fia. more specifically coastal Israel close to the Mediterranean Sea like Tel Aviv and of course Bethlehem and Jerusalem and of course there the only reason part of the reason why it's not number one is because of all the uh, you know everyone's attacking it which is a shame because they have contributed a lot in, in the technology world. You know, like medicine, medicinal technology. We trade with them. We, well, in the U.S., we trade with, with Israel. But I'm more specifically wanting to go throughout the coast. I've never actually seen the Mediterranean. It'll be interesting to see. Number three, Drei. Oh, my name. And of course, as you can tell, I'm speaking a little bit of German. Of course, seeing castles and things like that, and of course, the Rhine River, and who wouldn't want sausage and pretzels? And all the regions of Germany. I mean, you got Munich, you got Frankfurt, I think you got uh, Dusseldorf, Hamburg, Berlin. Yeah. And of course, the scenery. This, uh, this list, by the way, is mostly countries other than the U.S. Of course, I would like to 
see a see like uh, the mountains, the Appalachian Mountains and Alaska, but and even the Rocky Mountains in Alaska. But I'm gonna put that for another video. Number two, Linden, Ireland, or the British Isles, has basically five countries. You've got Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, and of course, the rest of Ireland. <laughs> And of course, uh, I may have some some hair, some uh, ancestry from Scotland or Ireland. I I heard that I actually heard from a friend of mine that my last name is actually a Scottish name, but I'm not really sure. I'll have to delve deeper into that. It, Okay, before we get to number one, let's do some honorable mentions. Well, one of them is, well, Sweden. You know, basically the North, the Nordic nations. And I have another Nordic nation as well. Another honorable mention would be Tokyo, Japan. I don't understand Japanese very well. Other than like Konnichiwa. And things like that. A, f a few phrases I know. Last uh, honorable mention I have is the Faroe Islands, which are at 62 degrees north latitude. And that's, I think, just to the north of Scotland. Or to the north, or even north of Iceland, which is which I which is probably another one. Okay, now to number one, Eins. It's Canada. More specifically, um, Saskatchewan and Quebec, as well as Ontario. So Eastern Canada. I mean, you've got. I mean, you gotta have maple syrup on a lot of things. I think part of the reason why we have, you know, pancakes why our pancakes and waffles have maple syrup in them has to have some influence from the Canadians or even the French Canadians okay that rounds up my top five places I would like to visit in the, in the future alright let me know down in the comments below what places you would like to visit in the future alright have a great day. Goodbye.